Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Before you dislike this video, thinking it's clickbait, me talking about this hurricane potentially that the models showed, please don't because the point of this video is to make you guys aware that hurricane season is coming very soon and there's going to be more th threats like this and we really need to be aware about this. I mean, I'm not excluding any possibilities. This could become a hurricane or even a tropical storm and chances of it actually making a landfall are very slim, but um, it, it, you never know, it could be a hurricane that could form, it doesn't necessarily need to hit, but it could be a hurricane that forms, so now the models have backed off slightly on it, but I want to show you guys the first model run from yesterday, so let me go to 6 o'clock Saturday, which is around 2 o'clock in the morning, and you can see, let's go to... <coughs> <clears throat> Let's go to uh, yeah, I think we'll be able to see it. Just watch your area for this so in this area just watch the and around Cuba and uh, The I forgot what that's called completely forgot Yucatan Peninsula. Yes, that's what it's called Okay, so watch that area around there and you could see a lot of moisture But then once we start edging towards the end you could see that there's like this very strong system and you could define definitely um, the identify a storm which is about much weaker a regular storm system from a hurricane I mean you can see hurricane heavy wind I mean strong wind heavy rain and low pressure that's all in this thing now let's compare it to this storm um not that strong wind you can see the isobars aren't that tightly packed not necessarily heavy rain just the green no reds or oranges and the pressure isn't too necessarily low. You can see 997. So this is definitely um, does look like a hurricane. And if we were to look at some of the upper dynamics, let's for it. Actually, let's go to the lower. Mm, yeah, MLSP and 880 wind. You can see that this storm is fairly strong. Has some lot of kick to it. A lot of energy. This basically shows us the energy. And you can see this energy right here, this is associated with severe weather, and that produces a lot of damage. So just think about what this could do if the purples are showing up on a map. So this hurricane is definitely something we will need to watch. Um, again, the chances of it actually developing are low, but the point of this video is to guys is to make you guys aware that hurricane season is coming and more occasions like this will be occurring and this just goes to show you that this hurricane season may be uh, an on average or at least slightly above average than others so I think that this hurricane season like I said in my outlook on my hurricane outlook if you don't have that you could check that out it's titled hurricane outlook part one and in that part I talked about how hurricane season might be above average, but, um, and I do think so because I think the temperatures will be warmer across much of the nation, causing the ocean temperatures to be warmer also because the air doesn't really change in temperature across um, the land and ocean that much. So the war if there's above average temperatures in like Texas, Louisiana, I think there will be warm above average temperatures um, across the ocean. So uh, warmer waters lead to more favorable conditions for storm development there's still a lot more to go unsolved whether the El Nino will occur or the La Nina or the neutral but that is still plenty of time to go and we will need to see how that plays out um I would like to now just yes yeah, so that's basically it, guys I would like to show you now this today's 12 o'clock actually no because that doesn't go out far o'clock far enough let's go out to the six o'clock I'll run a day later you can see that there's nothing really much developing across the hurricane there's something weak coming on here but again that doesn't seem to be too terribly strong but that just this video just goes to show you that um, there is a potential for hurricanes this early on and we really need to watch this so please stay tuned to you know my weather page in case anything goes wrong and in case anything does really happen that's um, you know that needs forecasting but as you can see it's not going to be too overly active in the next couple of days but there are going to be some occasions for some strong thunderstorms I'll be updating a video maybe on Monday or Tuesday but that's basically guys uh, I'd like to actually also show you some of the temperatures that might be occurring across much of the country so let's rewind this back to now 
our hour zero, which is present. And you can see today not too much of a warm day, but um, this is actually today not too much of a warm day for the northeast or even the midwest. Um, generally 60s, but that's still around average compared to what we've been having, though. That's cooler. And the, you can see the south is baking in some 90s. So you can see tomorrow is going to be even cooler for the northeast, barely getting out of the 60s. But then Tuesday comes along, Wednesday, you can see it's pushing up north the warm air. Friday, Saturday, Saturday, There's this is really where we don't know. This could be some I've seen weather pages showing this front being up here. So this really depends. You can see 49, Wisconsin, and then further south, maybe 100 miles, 81. So this is something we need to watch. And you can see this is just classic right here. Here's a cold front right there. Here's the warm front, and here's a system centered right there. And severe weather is going to be a problem this week, I think. So we'll definitely need to keep watching that. And that is definitely a cause for concern. But overall, that's basically it. This was a short video. Like I said, I just wanted to tell you guys about this hurricane. So please consider subscribing to my channel. Please consider liking the video. As always, this really helps out a lot. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to my channel. Please consider liking the video like I mentioned before. And see you guys in the next episode.